Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Arslan, the Warriors of Legend. We're here in free mode, finding all of these scenarios that are happening between the events of the main story. And not only do we have Escape from McBotana to go through, guys, but after we cleared Arslan's special training, we also unlocked a Kahina's Expedition, which talks about what Farron Geese was doing before meeting up with Geeve and finding Arslan. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and try Escape from McBotana first, see if that unlocks anything else, and we're just going to try and catch up with all the stuff going on before we hit back to the main story. So, the Lusitanian army, having taken at Batana, sets about sacking the city. Gieb quietly plans to take some of their plunder for himself and make good his escape. Sounds like a plan to me. He's level 6, so this will probably be a good opportunity to level him up some. And does he have any power art or anything? Nope. No fire aspect yet. But looks like we're in the sewers again, so let's go. Parsera, year 320 November. The royal capital Vecbatana, trampled beneath the boots of the Lusitanian army, is in danger of falling completely. Gieve accepted the job of escorting a decoy for the queen, but her death relieves him of any further obligations in that matter. Taking advantage of the chaos to procure some of the Lusitanian soldiers' plunder, he also takes their captain as his hostage and now plans to escape from the royal capital. The escape of the bold musician Gieve has begun. Now I'm curious if we're going to have any more mirror images. And we got a- yep, I just saw- I just saw not Gieve behind me. And we have a commander. As well, where's he at? Oh, alright, we got Bob, agent of Lusitania, to tag along with us. Cool. Well, looks like this is going to protect the loot. So I guess Bob's carrying the loot. So we have to escort him. Awesome. Down south, it looks like. Well, let's do what we can here to keep Bob safe, especially if he's holding all the plunder. And Gieve definitely sounds like that kind of person who would be like, Oh, my delicate musician fingers can't handle this workload. Here, you hold it. Kind of thing. And, oop, we went the wrong way. Now, the cool thing is it looks like Bob is following me. Yeah, Bob is... Definitely follow. Ah, never mind. I'm looking on the radar. Apparently, Bob is not following me. Bob is getting distracted by binkies. That was one thing that I really liked about the newer Warrior games was the fact that um, it almost seemed like they weren't. Ba back in the day, if you were doing an escort quest in a Warrior games, the thing people you were trying to escort would get distracted by the littlest of binkies. And then in the newer games, it seemed that they would only be distracted by an officer, or a named mob, or something like that, like a gate captain. And I really like that, but it looks like we're going back to uh, old habits here. Which, to be honest, I guess is more realistic, because if anyone came at me with a sword, regardless of their rank, I'd probably be a little bit concerned, and that is a lot of Lusitanian soldiers. Take a break for a moment. Oh, is Bob? Let's play a song for these guys. I knew they're dropping a lot of food. <laughs> yes, we're in the. They're just well equipped. Well equipped for siege. And do we have any more named mo- Oh, yes we did. Holy crap. We had two, three assault captains. Is Bob alright? Could you imagine those who have watched the anime, two Geeves, and them complimenting each other as they fought? It was like, oh, that was a good shot, Geeve. Oh, yes, thank you, Geeve. I'd say that you're looking particularly handsome today. I think Farron Geese would actually emote her frustration. The captain has resumed advancing. 
Okay, looks like Bob is well rested. I guess we can keep on keeping on here. Clear the path for him. Let's see if he'll follow. Come on, Bob. Nope. You're trying my patience, Bob. At the same point, this also makes sure that we don't move too far ahead of him. Of course, if I was traveling with two Geeves, I'd be pretty frustrated too. My chance to escape, I've had enough of the- Oh! Bob? No, Bob. That, that was not part of the arrangement, Bob. Now I'm really glad that we stayed close to him. Let's hustle. Still need to keep close to him in case he wants to uh, try another disappearing act. Now, do I have my... Nope, I cannot summon my horse. So I need to be aware of that so I can't run anyone down. If need be. And we're probably going to have a bunch of people show up along this path. This is a perfect choke point. Yep. Speak of the devil. And they will appear. I was actually kind of curious about that. Like, in, in terms of Arslan, because the Lusitanians, um, they worship one god. I wonder if they have a version of the devil. Rank B? Not bad. So, where are we going? Looks like a bunch of them are spawned up at the top. The north should be okay. Yeah, we gotta... Escape from the north within five minutes. Ew. Well, hopefully Bob is up for the task. Unlocked Miasma weapon art. Cool. I suppose. Let's see if... Yeah, let's see if we can just run by here, because if we're on a time limit, we really don't have the inclination. I hate when stuff's under time limits like this. That's convenient. Might be a little too convenient, really. I'm surprised one of the gates probably going to close on us. Get us all nice and locked in. Oh, there's a general. Sorry, boss. I don't have any settlements for you to go protect. I only uh, want your loot. There we are. Level increased. And we got a new... Or an additional Musu bar. Let's keep on going, guys. Bad archer. <clears throat> and this looks like it's going to be just a trek up through a gauntlet. So, let's do what we can here. Kind of clear the path. We've got a lot of assault captains up here. Yeah, get all distracted on me, and then I will uh, introduce you guys to a Musu. And you can see how Gieve has that nihilistic approach, because he's watched empires... He seems to have watched a lot of empires rise and fall in his travels as a musician, so... He has kind of a scoundrel, nihilistic view on things. Which is interesting, because that kind of skill card discovered. Oh, neat. And we got about two minutes here. Let's keep going up. I'm pretty sure a boss is going to reveal his ugly mug. Oh, wait a minute, there's a defense captain here. Let's clear the path a little.
play a tune. Grab the gold. Okay, not Geeve and Bob. Which means there's the boss. Got dual generals here. Now, I wish our escorts could actually rock out all this meat that's all the all these like kebabs that are just going to waste. This is Musu since I got you guys in here in the corner. Where's Bob at? Is Bob here in the fray? Yes, Bob is in the fray. We're hitting all those health. That's awesome. And so both generals are still up. That seems to be... Oh, we gotta kill both of them. They both have their own separate bars. Let's grab... We got another skill card. And just one general left. We got 37 seconds. Ooh. And Gibe just killed Bob. Thank you, Bob, for all your help. That is just what I expect from Gibe, too. XP acquired. Objectives. That should give us an A, I think. Yeah, good deal. Got us some new skill cards. Not bad. Did we unlock anything with that? No. Okay, we didn't unlock any new expeditions. So, it looks like in the next episode, guys, we can do a Kahina's expedition. And we should be caught up to be able to go back into the main story. So, we will go ahead and do that next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed the uh, adventures of Geeve, Geeve, and Bob. But if you liked it, go ahead and leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a com comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.